don't want to miss out on the moment. nine weeks pregnant and whew, I already started feeling a certain type of way and I spoke to my nurse sister and she said I might be just on my way to delivery but there's so much to be done you see a lot of things behind me there some of my baby stuff I've not unboxed I have some laundry to do I have to organize my children my other two boys I have to pack their bag also because they will be staying with one of their aunties while I'm at the hospital so I need to make sure that they have everything they need I have laundry to do, I have food to pack in the freezer, there are just so many things. For some reason, I left these things up to this last minute because I felt like, oh, I've already had two boys, I don't have to be in any kind of stress, like hurrying for anything because mm, I'm not the first time mom. But hey, this thing, no, I don't advise anybody to do what I did. I think it's because I was very busy with work, business, it's just everything, guys. I've been so busy these past few weeks, but glory be to God. I was able to also get my nails done today, which is really good. That's a huge accomplishment because at least my nails are not looking horrible. Let's just see how far we can go. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. On here, I film about faith, entrepreneurship, content creation. And in this phase of my life, I'm about to have my baby number three, which happens to be a girl after two boys. And I'm hoping that you come along this journey with me. Thank you guys so much. And let's do the work. I've always made it a habit to cook before going to deliver just so that when I'm away for the three, four days, my whole family can have food to eat, my husband can have food to eat, and my children can have food to eat. So this time I had planned to cook more stuff, but just, I just didn't have the time to do it. So I ended up having just two soups. It's like soups, yeah. So they're going to either boil plantain or rice to eat with it. So yeah, I'm glad I was able to do that. So I'm going to put part of it in the freezer and then part of it in the fridge. Yay! This same week, I was able to also go into the store and actually pick up a few stuff for this baby girl. Like up until this point, I had not bought anything for her. Hi! I have a lot of stuff here. Okay, so this is yes, this is recording, right? Yeah, Thank yeah, you. <laughs> Thank you for partnering with me. Because <laughs> I, I create YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. So I don't want to miss out on the moment. I know you're so excited. I am! I have two boys! So this one is like, yay! <laughs> like, finally! <laughs> Alright, so back to what I actually did on this day. Oh my god, I did so much work, guys. Like <laughs> from doing the laundry, from like there were so many loads of laundry actually. I just wanted to get everything done so that when I go have the baby, she should come back to a well i don't know she just come back to everything in order <laughs> i know I, was, I just had a nesting feeling right so i was nesting <laughs> Oh, no. 
When I was done with laundry and the kitchen, I had to pack the bag for the boys. <laughs> like I told you guys earlier on, they need this bag once I'm away because they are going to be going to their auntie's place to stay there for the number of days that I'll be in the hospital. So I have to pack the bag, making sure that they have enough clothes, pajamas, and just everything in between. <laughs> so yeah, I was able to do that, my God. By this time, I was so, so tired already. 